Hello everyone and welcome to the first official trade journal tutorial video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to import trades from your TD Ameritrade account into trade journal so you can learn from your statistics. So to get started, there's two ways. You can click here the tools and more and click the import wizard button or you can click the quick links here and say import transactions. Um, let's go the long way just to show you guys what it looks like. So let's go to here, import wizard, and you actually end up on this page first with all of your transactions that were already imported. And you'll notice here the use wizard button actually is not clickable. And there's an alert here. If you ever see an alert, definitely uh, consider reading it, especially if it's the first time you've seen it. To use the wizard, you must have imported entries that have not yet been matched to a trade please click the import new entries button now. That's this button here. And basically what that means is if you have imported entries from let's say TD Ameritrade or any other broker, but it's not matched to a specific trade, then you still need to import those um, via CSV file. So we'll give that example. And a quick little example of what that means is you'll notice here's four transactions. These were imported transactions. And these four transactions, which looks to be a buy and a sell and a buy and a sell, is actually what creates this trade right here. So let's keep going and use the uh, wizard. We'll go ahead and say import wizard or um, yeah, import new entries. And then we go to this page. Now you can also go here to the quick links and say import transactions and that will bring you to the same page. So this is why it's the quick links. It will quickly get you to where you need to go. Now we need to import the transactions. Well, to do that, or for, yeah, well, to do that, you want to have the Google um, Sheet conversion template. So let's go ahead and open that. And you only need to do this once, and then once it's set up, it'll be much quicker uh, down the road. Then you end up to this page, and you'll end up on the first How To tab. This is uh, fairly simple, but it looks like a lot because it's really written out step by step. The first thing you wanna do is make this your own. A lot of people try to request access to this example uh, template and we have to reject them because we can't have people editing the example template. So you have to make a copy. Go here to file, then click download <clears throat> Oops, sorry, that's wrong. Go to file and then say make a copy. So go ahead and do that now. I'll do it with you guys. Let's call it our own. This is gonna be copy of TD Ameritrade. Well, let's call it um, um, personal. We'll just call it personal for now. Per First I have to learn how to spell. And then we'll just say, okay. That way you guys can see um, this is our personal one. And what we wanna do now is go to add TD Ameritrade transactions. And that's this page. And what you can do is you can delete the demo ones, the example ones, and just go ahead and remove that. And this is the only tab you're really gonna be touching. So now let's go here to the uh, your TD Ameritrade account. And you wanna scroll down to whatever day or you know it could be many days uh, and then you just want to highlight it so let's go ahead and this is the fourth so this was on friday so let's scroll down here and let's just go ahead and copy that and then come back here to our personal one we could remove this and go i like to just highlight all of them just to keep it simple and then go here and copy it all um, and there there we go now sometimes you'll notice that this tab is moved over like this um, that's fine, all you have to do is go ahead and move it back. Just remember to use Control C and not Control V. So Control C and then go over here, Control V and then delete. And the reason for that is if you use Control X, it's gonna mess up these equations here at the auto remove and auto split tab um, and that is gonna cause problems. So remember just Control C and Control V, keep it very simple. And now let's go ahead and all we have to do is come down to TD download CSV for import. If you're ever confused what to do next, just follow these steps. It will say everything you need to do. And right now we're on this step, go to the download as CSV file for import. So let's go ahead and do that. File, download, as CSV file. Remember guys, we are on this tab now. So we added the trades and the transactions or we added the transactions to this tab. Then there's um, a little bit of uh, simple calculations done here on TD, I mean, um, Google Sheets. And then on this tab is where we want to actually end up um, downloading. And so let's go ahead and download that. But for this example, I just, I'm actually gonna be downloading the TD, um, 
uh, the demo the demo sheet, so not the personal one. Um, and that's because I want to show you guys some of these example trades I went ahead and set up. So let's go ahead and we're on this tab again. So let's go ahead and download, uh, download CSV file. And there we go, there we have it. So, um, and if you guys are wondering how to get to this page, again, everything is in the how-to. So just come here to the how-to and you'll see exactly how to get here. Um, go to add TD um, Ameritrade transactions. Um, actually, this is after. Yeah, go to the transactions page, my account, my account overview, history and transactions, and just a little bit of example, my account, um, history and transactions under account overview the transactions and that's how you get to this page and don't forget you can do it for all your different accounts very very simple stuff here so now let's go back and go to the import page so now we have done this and let's go ahead and import this and you're, you're going to see here that first we're going to actually run into a little bit of a problem here and I want to show you what that problem is uh, for simplicity's sake so let's go ahead and say import and watch this Rows with empty symbols are not allowed. Let's go ahead and figure out what just happened. And there's actually a second uh, import issue here. Oops, let me close that. It says rows with empty dates are not allowed either. So let's go back here. This is the last one, I believe, that we try to download. And let's go ahead and edit this one and see what's going on here. Let me make, make it big screen. And aha, okay. So we obviously imported a lot more stuff here than we needed to. Um, and uh, trade journal is not going to allow these empty fields because then you're going to have a bunch of transactions and it's going to be a little bit hectic. So let's just delete that and then go ahead and import this again. Um, and that that's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and click import and we shouldn't have any issues now. And boom, there we go. So you'll notice that here are the imported transactions and then look, use wizard is now open. So let's go ahead and see uh, how, how to uh, match these um, because right now it's not nothing's going to show up in your stats. These new trades are not going to show up in your stats because they're not trades yet. Now there's two ways to make these trades. What you can do is go to um, let's say add a trade, create a trade, type in all the information, and and then you can let's say. Uh, you can then match the trade. So down here you can say, okay, entry, exit, this is one trade. Um, so let me go here and then select that. This belongs to trade number one of these, and then we could add it and it'll belong to that trade. But that's a lot of work, and you probably don't want to do that. That's more like for fixing or something like that if something, if something went wrong. So let's go ahead, use the wizard. The error message is gone. Everything is looking good. Let's do our stock day trading. We'll do our TD Ameritrade broker. This is our portfolio. Let's go ahead to add fields. Now we're going to add the fields to these entries and create trades automatically. Um, let me actually go back to the import entry page. So you'll notice we have quite a few uh, transactions here. Um, let's see actually how many this was. This is our personal. So we have one all the way to 30. So we have 30 transactions, but it actually only turned out to eight trades. And this is why, here's an example. So entry, exit, those are two transactions. You buy and you sell, and then <clears throat> it creates a trade out of that. So trade journal calculates, the wizard calculates, okay, this person bought and they sold. So once the symbol goes back to zero, it, can, it basically may, turns that into a trade. So now we could call this pattern anything, let's say, I don't know, front side move or something like that. And if it's not a pattern yet, you could go ahead and create it just like that, front side. And let's go ahead, we could put an image in there or not, and then we could add some uh, fun demo notes. Obviously, where these are more like important, uh, important notes, right? Um, and then we could go ahead and match that trade. And now we go to the next trade and then we say, I don't know, let's say this is a backside dip buy trade. We wanna do this in the, um, so we get in the future, we can sort trades by certain things. Obviously add a picture if you want, more notes here. Now you could keep doing this backside notes, yada, yada, um, or uh, for each trade, just clicking match, or you could just match all. And what match all does for every trade that you haven't added stuff in yet, it's going to automatically populate this information. So let's see what happens there. And this is a little alert here. So if you click match all, all trades that aren't kind of um, approved yet are not matched. Um, we'll be using these new settings. So let's go ahead and say match all. And now you can go to your stats and view the stats that all these trades pertain to. But what we actually wanna do first is just kind of go back to the wizard to review here. So remember, this is the first trade we entered, fun demo note, and watch this. The second one is gonna have that backside and watch the third one, what's it gonna have? Take a wild guess. 
it's gonna also have the backside, that's right. So more notes, backside, third one, these are all using the, um, the backside more notes because we, we clicked match all. Now I wanna give you a quick little example here, what happens on number eight, because number eight is special. And look at this, long type, long, so we had a buy and a sell, but the next one was a short. So we actually started by exiting this position because we shorted to open and then we bought to cover back later. So we come back here to the example, and this is why I want to use the example. You can see here, sold to short, bought to cover, and then in here, the auto tab removes the bot and the shorted part and creates a clean, more uh, readable example of what's going on. And then the auto split, splits everything up and then the um, the download to CSV file makes sure it has exactly all the information it needs. Um, and if you ever wanted to use this kind of for a separate broker, all you have to do uh, is make sure it, it, it continues this format. So if we go here to the um, import entries, um, and import more entries, for example, um, this is the format. So there's an example CSV file here and it'll show you exactly the format. And this is the same format you're gonna see right here. So you can import trades or transactions from any broker. This is just the example with TD Ameritrade. We actually have already another example here with interactive brokers in a Google Sheet. Um, sweet, okay, let's go ahead. And so we did match all. Let's go back to the wizard summary. This is the important part. You wanna say finish wizard. Um, this kind of ties everything up. These trades are actually already created, but by saying finish wizard, you can now use the wizard again with new transactions. So let's go ahead and say finish wizard. And then in the stats page, we'll have all the stats um, on these newly added trades. Now these trades we added are actually over a lot of, um, almost over a whole entire year, a lot of time between these transactions. So it's gonna basically add um, the beginning of the first trade to the last trade. It's great if you're importing transactions for a day, uh, because then you see that specific day. Otherwise, you know, it's gonna be a big amount of uh, trades that were imported or showing here on the statistics page. So here we have that short trade, for example, BlackBerry. Let's go ahead and view this one. Uh, perfect, you see the exits are the important part and then the entries, um, or not the important part, but this is where you open the trade and this is where you sold. So it kind of switches everything. Um, and that's if you're short. Otherwise, you're gonna have your very, very clean um, normal buy and sell. Um, yeah, so this is a good example here again. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven transactions. That's only one trade because at the end of the day, all these transactions, right? We're we're selling to open. We're selling to open. We're buy, We're you know selling more to open. Selling more to open. Selling more to open. We're increasing our position size and then we're decreasing our position size. We're taking profits, right? That's what's going on here. All that equals one trade, and that's the trade over here. That's the simple explanation. Here you can see it again with a buy and a sell. Here's an entry, here's an exit. That's a buy and a sell. These two transactions create one trade. Again, you can see that here, um, how it works. Sweet. I did want to clear or explain one thing here. If you guys have, if you are looking for more help, you can contact support. This goes to trade journal uh, support at, at tradejournal.co. Feel free to email us there. We also have all these other social platforms you can write us at. Discord's probably one of the best to get quick feedback, especially from anyone in the community. There's over over a thousand people in the Discord, so very very quick help you can get there. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, obviously you can leave a comment below the video and we will answer you as well there. So email, Discord are usually the two best and then obviously the, the other social medias work as well, such as Twitter. All right, guys, that's everything for this video. I went in a, in a little bit more detail on each topic. I'll make sure to timestamp everything below so you can squ uh, quickly zoom to the important part of the video that you need. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to drop a like if you did to um, let us know and um, Good trading, good luck trading everyone, and um, hope to see you on Trade Journal. Ciao, ciao guys.